All right, welcome everyone. And back to our playlist where we're talking about using analytics to improve your sales funnel. Now we've introduced you to a lot of things. And today we're gonna to be talking about UTMs. And I'm going to let Irene Polak from Rumble Media actually explain what it is and why they're important. Take it away, Irene. Okay, so UTMs are like, they were the beginning, they were the first thing that Google used to track what people, what people, where people were coming from with Google Analytics. They loved it so much. Well, actually it was somebody else's business that Google acquired. And like everything that Google acquires, it somehow still seems to play into the mishmash that is their web of tracking. But there is a key rule to using UTMs is that it is not to be used internally. It's not for internal tracking because Google Analytics or UA code on your website will track that automatically for you. You don't have to use UTMs within your website. UTMs are used for tracking uh, traffic and making it useful in a way so that you can segment five key pieces of data from that inbound traffic. So let's say YouTube, for example, you'll notice in the in the bottom of uh, uh, the tutorials that in our YouTube videos, we've got links behind those links are UTMs so that we can identify which videos bring in what traffic to the websites that are set up as the landing pages for the next step. And the reason why we do that is for better data, cleaner data. That's all it's for. We want to know that video three of playlist five did, ha you know, got people interested, you know, it hit a nerve. And that's how you're going to find out whether your email or your Facebook marketing or your LinkedIn links or whatever you're using to bring people into your site What's working? Is it email number four? You know, is it the link in the bottom of your email? You can actually really clean up the data that you're getting from the marketing that you're doing. And if you're spending all that time creating content, setting up email automations or pushing out content on Facebook or YouTube, you should know where they're coming from and what made them tick, convert. Now there is a there is something there. This is what it solves. I'm going to show you what it solves because it's as soon as my as soon as I can exit. Uh, thank you. Uh, there is something in your analytics report that everybody's probably familiar with seeing is direct none, and that is when you send people to your website from emails or YouTube or anything like that. And it's just got a link. And there is like just a link, just a, a nudie link without any UTM, UTMs on the back of it. Then Google is, you know, Google can only capture so much data. So what UTMs do is it, it, it simplifies the tracking for Google. And then what you're going to see, see we've done UTMs and we've got active campaign share We've got leads hook results, you know, like, so we've got, and then Google gives organic, Facebook gives referral, et cetera. So you can create your own uh, cam, uh, you can create your own source medium. You create, so the five things you uh, will customize and what you're tracking, you will tr cre uh, you'll create your own source medium. You will create uh, your own campaign and your campaign is around a product or service that you're selling. And then where you create the segmentation in your UTMs is around the content, which is usually your image or your headline. And then the term is, sorry, your term is your headline. Your content is maybe the blog name, maybe the email name, etc. Something that distinguishes it like a uh, laughing lady image. Whatever it is that people are clicking on to, with the link behind it, that's how you want to segment it. So that when you're looking at your data, you can say, wow, the Facebook ad with the graphic of the laughing lady is actually brought in a lot of the converting clicks that we've got in this month's report. Now, UTMs, 
I will show you, there's a few tools on how to build UTMs and they're free. There's a, there's a really good spreadsheet that we use internally at uh, Rumble Media that I'm just going to show you the framework of it and it shows you really easily on how to set one up. So, so in this spreadsheet that's actually uh, uh, offered in the free analytics training on Rumble, there is a link to this spreadsheet over there. What we do in here, because the source medium and campaign never change. So you're going to have your uh, email platform. You're going to have your uh, booking system name in there. So iframes or something like that, whatever you're using, or leads pages, anything. And then you're going to have your platforms that you market on, whether it's Facebook, Google, uh, LinkedIn could be in there. And the thing is, you always want to use lowercase because Google works in lowercase. Now, you want to choose the medium. Was it a share? Was it a paid ad? Was it an email? You know, was it an affiliate link? Was it a webinar, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to, you're going to segment it out that way. Most of the time, you're going to use share, C, CPC. So what this does when you set this up correctly is this actually populates everything over in the other ones. So what you want to do is when you get a copy of this, you want to make a copy and then you want to change and adjust it based on the platforms and the mediums that you use. So, and of course your products, you want to put all your products in here of where you, and you know, sometimes it might be just sending people to your blog. So you want to write your blog in there. And then, but then these generally stay the same. So if I'm going to, uh, I always use it also, oh, there's one thing that I forgot to put in there. And this is Google My Business because it is really important to put UTMs on your Google My Business links because I've done some testing and they don't give you a, a useful truth. They, uh, what I find in the reporting from Google My Business and what I find in the information from my UTM links is my UTMs actually tell me that I'm getting way more responses from my links. So see how just using UTMs in th those kind of ways can actually validate what you're doing on different platforms. So then what you would do here is you would come here and you choose the landing page, whatever the landing page is, you put it over here and then you decorate it by choosing the different ones there. And I'm gonna to go to GTM advanced, affiliate, affiliate ID. And what you have to remember is anytime you wanna have a space between something, you use a dash instead. Do not use emojis, do not use underscore, keep it as it is in this example. There's a, there's a Loom video attached to the uh, spreadsheet that runs you through how to use it. And then what you wanna do is you can either use this long link or you can use a shortener tool. That There's Pretty Links, that's a UTM, uh, that's a tool that you can use as a WordPress plugin. That software is really, really smart and you can put your UTMs behind your pretty links and it'd be a really short link, but then it has all this extra information behind it. And that is what usually a lot of people do. They shorten their links. Bitly is okay, not recommended due to um, hacking risks, but there's many tools out there and pretty links is what we recommend at this point in time. So then once you start it, you'll get it. And it, it is an extra five minutes of work, but it is worth the effort just for the clean data that you'll get at the other end. Excellent. Thanks, Irene. And so just remind us where we go to get your training and, and this website, this um, spreadsheet. There should be a pretty link down below that has a link to Rumble Media's free analytics training. Uh, on there, it shows you everything on how to read the analytics reports, how to set up UTMs in great detail. There's a 40 minute training on there. And then there's also how to set up segments and goals in greater detail. Excellent, brilliant. So for those of you who are interested in the next step and one that's probably the most interesting and exciting is go to the next video in the playlist and we're gonna be talking to you about how to actually start to get information from your reports, not just seeing data and going, well, what does that mean? But learning how to turn the data into a story 
that you can then use to improve your sales funnel and your business. See you in the next video.